Okay, the next two are gifts from the Orient. How many of you have Chinese tallow trees? Not in your yard, out in your pasture. How many in the yard? This stuff will kill in your yard just as good as in the pasture. <laughs> Except I can't recommend it. <laughs> All right. Chinese tallow tree was brought over as a honey plant and as a uh, source for um, an, an oil that is found in those little berries. Of course, those little berries um, will fall off along irrigation ditches, the birds will eat them, and next thing you know, you got tallow trees all up and down the fence line, you got all up and down your irrigation ditches, bar ditches, everywhere. We've counted 7,700 plants per acre down in Brazoria County. So it's a, it's a major problem. Fortunately, it's got the broad leaf. It is susceptible to herbicides both spring and fall. And so when it's growing good, all of these things need to be growing good. You can spray, foliar spray or basal spray using the same herbicides that I just talked about on Wasatch. What kind of a nozzle do I use for basal spray? X1. Okay, what is the uh, triclopyr diesel mix? 1585. Okay. When? Year round. Anything else? How? All the way around each stem. Now one thing about tallow trees is that there is a tendency for root sprouting. So then when you cut this off, not only will it grow up from the, that base, but it may tend to grow out from a root out here. And so you just gotta keep after it. Kill that one and then kill that one. All right, but basically it's the same as any of what we've been talking about. Foliar, again, is, is just like um, we set. We use P plus D at 1%. We can do it in the spring uh, when it's leafed out good, uh, before that heat and dry summer slump. If it's growing good and you've got good range, you can do it up to, I'm gonna say, July, June, June, July. Stop until September, then you can start again. Once it starts putting on the nice fall colors, the golds, the reds, all that, you need to stop. Because it's not going to take it in, take it down where it's gonna do its job. But you spray it the same way. This is a little bit more compact. It's a lot easier to spray than say the Wesatch. And at the same time, we can uh, get the coverage in an in a, in a economic fashion. Any questions? What about uh, broadcast applications? Broadcast application is a, a gallon of P plus D in the spring or fall. And of course, I haven't even mentioned, but if you, as you look in the uh, uh, trifolds, that you do use blue dye at that quarter percent, and you, you do use a surfactant at a quarter percent. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a given, and I almost forgot to say it, but uh, just, just to remind you, those are the two carry, uh, adjuvants that go into the carriers, okay? Grazon Next is very new, and there's a lot of species we have out here that we don't have the answers to yet. There's Dow people here, they may have some plots out, but uh, right now, in, all, in our literature, we're recommending the P plus D. That's not to say it won't work, we just don't know. Anybody?